What happened first here was we had the original spillway that had to be demolished with drill and blast. Then we went down to the bedrock. Then we had the foundation cleaning crews had to come in and clean it all up and get it down to a kind of a shop vac, uh, tongue licking clean, we like to call it. And uh, then comes the leveling concrete. Leveling concrete was at least two and a half feet thick, but most of the time it's in the four to six foot range. The drain lines are buried in the slabs on every joint and they go to the outside. It's a really cool eight inch perforated uh, drain pipe surrounded with drain rock. And once that was complete, then the uh, slab forms would be placed and we'd, uh, we had to checkerboard finish the two and a half foot concrete here for the slabs. The walls would go in uh, after their footing slab was complete, also in a checkerboard fashion. All of this completed in less than 165 days, starting from last June 1st when we had access to the upper chute. Directly behind me are the drills working on the secant pile cutoff wall. That'll be working here through the winter and scheduled to be complete by early February. The, um, that secant pile wall is a system of three foot diameter drilled shafts that average between 45 and 65 feet into the rock below us. There's about 605 of those shafts that go in a straight line about 1,400 feet. So it's a pretty complicated wall that you'll actually never see. It's all underground. The winter time will be a lot of work going in this area uh, on phase one. And then phase two of the emergency spillway will begin in May of next year after we're sure that there won't be any spills over the emergency spillway when DWR releases us into the second phase shutdown. Pretty impressive standing here today. Uh, seems incredibly quiet, but again, only about 160 days ago was more like crisis management. This is not too far from the very lower scour hole that we had to get to the bottom of and the team started the RCC fill. So what we're standing on here is, is the, very, the very top of the um, RCC hardened layer that uh, is prepared for the flows in case DWR needs to use the spillway this year. It's all set up and ready to go. Those RCC walls on both sides behind me will be removed next year starting in May when we get access back into the channel and we'll replace them with the permanent concrete walls that'll be um, 22 feet tall, a little bit higher and uh, a little more extensive. Behind me, you can see the 25% grade, the four to one slope that the spillway exists. This is um, 349,000 cubic yards of RCC that was placed one foot at a time uh, and, uh, and got done just on time on November 1st, just a couple weeks ago.